All right, guys, welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. Today, we are going to be checking out 2020 High Point. This track is absolutely nuts. It really is. Uh, but before we get into the track, the video, we have a bunch of stuff to show you, actually. I'm going to show you the, the third person laps here and then a first person lap. And there is a second hidden track. It's nothing crazy, but hey, it's a second hidden track some trails and at the end of the video oh yeah and another ginormous send similar to what you saw at the beginning of the video but uh also at the end of the video i want to show you something with the the terrain deformation and it, it's something that has been in the game but i guess i i never really paid that close attention to it it's gorgeous so make sure to check that out we'll get to it at the end of the video but here at the track you can see it is amazing it is i was shocked how well they did this track. I mean, here, yeah, we did a big unrealistic send there, but if it makes you mad and you don't like it, don't do it. You don't have to. I just wanted to show you. It's fun in the game, but you don't have to do it. The layout is super accurate. The the ruts, it's so rough. There's so many ruts everywhere. The deep ruts, uh, just big, huge ruts. with It's just choppy and really rough everywhere. Very, very, very accurate track. I mean... I'm a big fan of High Point. Uh, Unadilla, I say it all the time, is my favorite track in real life, but this track in the game is kind of by far my favorite replica. It is the best replica we have gotten from Rainbow Studios in this uh, AMA Pro Motocross Nationals Championship of DLC. Extremely well done. It's it's almost like they, they put a, a bit of extra time into this track because of how good it is, and all nationals get rough and ruddy and really nasty but high point if you watch it if you've been there if you're a big fan of the track you you understand that high point gets these insane ruts everywhere and gets really really nasty i mean just go watch uh, some highlights from the year before or the year before that or go watch some uh, locals riding the track. I mean, it doesn't matter what day it is. This track gets nasty, and it is definitely communicated in this. I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys think, but, you know, if you live there, or if you, you go there every year, if you've been there, if you've actually rode on it, you'd have a better input than I would. But from what I've seen, because I've never actually been there, this track, I mean, I, I don't know if they could have done a better job making it. And that's with me not riding too many laps. I mean, I did. I actually played on this track for hours. Like, I was actually on it for hours because it was so fun. But as far as in the video, I probably rode maybe five or six laps on the track. So I didn't put a ton of time into it for the video. Like, for the video. I mean, I was trying to find really good laps, but I didn't, you know, grind out like 50 on the track. So it's gonna get rougher i mean it's gonna tear up even more with the the way the terrain deformation works in the game at a in a, in a race with the ai or a multiplayer race this is gonna get insane um i i just don't have enough great things to say about it and then we also have a a what a brain fart a third person lap because it just I don't know. I, I mean, I generally play these games in third person, but first person, it's so immersive. And, it, and the way this track works, it has so many ruts. It's really fun trying to get into that that rut. It's it's actually tough to decide to decide which line you want to take, you know, which one's going to work best for you. Now, here, you can double off of that. It's not realistic, but you can do it. And, and since it's a game, you know, you might see guys doing stuff in that way because hey it's a it's a game and if it's faster for sure people are going to go for it but i mean every corner has like minimum three ruts in it sometimes like five or six or, or more and there isn't a part of this track that isn't super choppy super rough braking bumps acceleration bumps there's not a part of this track that doesn't have it and it is updated to the 2020 layout. Now, I don't know for sure, but I believe this section of the track here, where we hop back down, it is a tiny bit different, maybe. It 
was always the double. Here we actually do it a bit more realistic. And then it went straight in the corner. I don't believe this was here. I think it was just kind of a hop back down and then it was straight. And then you came back up the hill for the double, but then it kept going and you didn't have this part here either. Uh, I believe that was last year or the year before. It was the year that had that Tomac was having that insane battle with uh, Muscan, uh, where it came down to the final lap and those two were like a second separated. I believe that those sections were changed a bit. I don't know how long it has been like this. This section coming up the hill, rolling over this single, and then hitting this triple, this is all the same. Uh, I just, a really big fan of High Point. I have been for years and it's always fun to see. I mean, the races here are, are always fun to watch and just to watch them navigate the track with how nasty the ruts are is insane. So uh, kind of get a better perspective, I guess, in game with the first person, but yeah, it's by no means similar to, to riding this track. This track is a beast and it would be a nightmare. I mean, to go as fast as they're going on a track that is this nasty is crazy. And to see this nasty of a track communicated in a video game is awesome. I thought Southwick was nasty and rough and choppy. It's not, I mean, in the game at least, it isn't near as insane as this track. Uh, in real life, yeah, that track gets uh, super gnarly, but really hope to see that same uh, attention to detail. I mean, all the tracks are great, okay? I, I don't wanna say that they're not, but this has like a little bit more, you know what I mean? It just has a tiny bit more, it feels like. So uh, this is the end of the first person, and then we hop over. Here is the hidden track. It's just behind the, the main track a bit. It's not a circle track, but it's a corners track. It has a tiny double on it, but everything else is just kind of corners. So I, again, I'm familiar with the track. I'm actually pretty familiar with the track, but I'm not familiar with the layout outside of it. I haven't actually been to the to high point. So again, I always like asking some of you guys usually know if this is real or not, if this is actually there. I mean, I'm sure it has other stuff that they probably didn't put in. I don't know for whatever reason that might be for time or whatever. I mean, the main point is that the track is great, but I assume if they put everything that might be there, you know, maybe, especially for PC, it runs great. I have a good PC, so it wouldn't be a problem, but maybe for console, you know, to, to help the frame rate because frame rate has been an issue in the game. They didn't, they don't put everything that is actually there. I don't know, but let me know in the comments if this track is actually a thing. Uh, because I'd be curious to know and then here we're actually in the trails and the trees and I actually did have a bit of a stutter uh, a bit of lag at two spots you might be able to see it now that I said it if you're really looking for it you'll see it, it runs really smooth but there was a couple spots that had a bit of lag so I'm kind of curious how that's gonna run on the console is that gonna is that gonna really drop the FPS in the the trees there where the trails run out and then they kind of pop out over here and they run in this big open area here I didn't see any problems with frame rate, so once you get out of the trees, they don't run too much in the trees, but they do a tiny bit. But once you get out of there, uh, it's it's fine. I didn't see any issues with it. And there's a bunch of trails here. There really isn't, at least from what I saw, I didn't see any jumps or anything that we had similar to Hangtown where you had the trails, but you had jumps or, or mini rhythm sections. I didn't see any of that uh, in my short time messing around in the free ride, so... Uh, just kind of trails. They do have some bank corners kind of built up on them, but kind of cool. And then we have a another big ascent here. There is a quad here. I kind of drove up to it thinking, hey, maybe we're going to get the same thing we got in a live where you can switch over to the quad, but uh, that is not the case. And then we send it over here, and they have like a, a dedicated built-in landing over these uh, semis. So there's a few of these big sends you can go after, but uh, that's just some extra stuff that kind of what I forgot to show at Hangtown. That's similar to what we have here. And then here I went to first person because I do want to show you this terrain deformation. It's insane. When we actually go over and you go look at it, it's almost photorealistic. It looks so good how it tears up the grass. It, uh, it just looks really, it looks real. It looks really, really good. And then we spin a couple, uh, couple donuts in there 
but it's so good and I wanted to show you that because I feel like a lot of us maybe overlook some of that detail and I don't know I was just messing around and I happened to see it so very 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 good job with the the detail on this track best track by far in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy